There are as many secondary lip repairs as there are surgeons. In this section, we'll illustrate some of Dr. Nordoff's most common motifs in doing secondary lip repair. Dr. Nordoff's most popular motif is lip re-repair. In this circumstance, he treats the lip as though only a lip adhesion had been done. He then goes on and marks a complete unilateral cleft lip and goes on to repair it as if this had been a mild cleft lip. In this example, Dr. Nordoff has marked a, essentially a primary unilateral cleft lip repair on top of this poorly repaired unilateral lip. Here is her preoperative frontal view followed by her postoperative improvement, which is certainly much better. Dr. Nordoff frequently uses the lip re-repair concept in bilateral lips also. He treats the initial lip repair as though a simple lip adhesion had been done and then does a complete bilateral cleft lip uh, as is diagrammed here. Here's an example patient showing a poor bilateral repair which has been simply re-repaired as it should have been the first time. Here's another patient, very wide prolabium, thin central vermilion, and the result after a lip re-repair. Here is yet another example. Note the usually very wide prolabium common in bilaterals is corrected using this method. Temporalis fascia is another popular technique used by Dr. Nordoff to fill in vermilion defects. Here we can see a very, very poorly developed vermilion on the cleft side, the result following lip re-repair and a temporalis fascia graft to the vermilion.